Griffin, he knows his son. Tunnel power! Well, that was absolutely stupid, wasn't it? Um, hello, art friends. How are you all? Um, we are painting today a teenage mutant ninja turtle. One of the most important things to me um, in the world. <laughs> uh, they shaped me way too much, and uh, these toys meant way too much to me. And um, I sold my collection on to university um, to pay for being at university. Still regret it. I'd love to get them back if you bought them from me. Um, car boot sell in Axminster and in uh, Devon in England. If you bought them there, please uh, give them back. That'd be great. Anyway, should we get on with the painting? What am I doing here? Of course, I'm painting uh, a turtle figure, the most important turtle figure, Raphael. He was always my favorite. I always went for the, uh, you know, that crude <laughs> but rude uh, dude, um, the Wolverine character of the group, the one who had a temper, the one who was cool. Um, it was always a battle for me between uh, Leonardo um, because he had the swords, but Leonardo was dull and he's blue. I don't like the color blue. I love the color red. So I'm painting my favorite turtle figure. Um, half of it's already gone. I've not really spoken about the painting. Shall we talk about the painting quickly? Um, uh, I think I drew it in a blue pencil. I don't know why I draw in blue. I think it's because of that like illustrator thing that I grew up with seeing people drawing it in that blue pencil that doesn't um, photocopy. So I've always gone and drawn stuff in blue if I can, uh, for no reason more than that, just imitating the people who I love. Um, so he's been drawn out um, and now the green um, beforehand I mixed the greens I've used um, for this green here I've used a brand of paint called uh, Little Green ironically uh, which is a interior paint but really beautiful interior paint um, so I thought I'd give it a go because I had a load of, load of tester pots and it's really beautiful to paint with um, covers pretty well still doesn't cover in one one day I will find find that beautiful paint that covers in one Anyway, so the turtle figure, my favorite figure, which was Raphael, uh, with his size and his red mask. Um, and he was, because all the turtle figures, uh, the original ones, had a different type of green to distinguish them, unlike they did in the cartoon. Um, and Because uh, Donatello's figure was like this brown color, really, really weird. Uh, I think Raph uh, probably had the nearest to the correct green. So I tried to get the green mixed to the green that Raph is, but um, on, on the figure, on the toy. Um, and I think it worked okay. Um, now, if you've seen the other one I did this, the He-Man one, um, this one's proportions are better, um, mainly because he's a turtle, so he's got a big shell. Um, so it was a bit easier to do. The He-Man one was difficult because of the weird proportions, um, and also we're going forward, what, another maybe 10 years? Maybe not quite that long when these figures started being produced. Not 10 years, it's not that long, maybe five or six. So these figures had a bit more detail, uh, a bit more definition, so are easier for me to paint. I didn't have to paint them so... Um, I didn't have to put quite so much effort into trying to get it right because it was easier because the figures were better. Um, uh, the next one I'm going to do is going to be a Luke Skywalker figure from the original Star Wars line. So that's 77, 78. Now, there's not a lot of detail in them. I'm, it's, that one's going to be hard. <laughs> um, but let's get back to Raph. Um, the green. Um, I've put three layers here. I'm just doing the two. Um, so we've got the dark um, and then we've got the next level up. And the belt, the belt was hard, actually. Uh, if you ever had these figures, I'm sure you did if you're watching this video, this belt used to always come off, didn't it? That stupid little, uh, like, knob <laughs> that was inside the um, the belt. Um, always popped off. Very irritating. Um, so the belt was a bit difficult to paint, but the rest of it was pretty standard. Uh, just mixing the tones up and down, especially the red, and just getting him really cool. Um they didn't really look like they did in the cartoon, did they, the figures? But they looked cool. They did release a line, didn't they, later on in, this, in the original line that um, looked a bit more like the figures. I've just talked about the figures. I haven't spoken at all about the painting. That's how much the figures mean to me. So that's probably a good thing. The paintings, yeah, it's a pop-up painting by me. If you watched any of my videos, uh, maybe I should answer some questions. Uh, the grid, the weird thing in the background, that's called a doodle grid. A doodle grid. I do doodle, you do doodle too. Um, the, uh, oh, there you go. That's quite a good picture and shot, isn't it? So you can see there the uh, reference photograph I'm using from the internet on a little tablet. Um, the greens aren't too bad, actually. The, the, the highlight green there is about the same as what Raph should be. Um, and the size are weeny bit out because those size and the weapons for the figures have this cool brown on it, um, which I did manage to mix, but it took a while to get that one close. But the greens and the yellows there are pretty easy. Um, and then I'm going over it in a Posca pen, as I do with everything, just to define. Now, normally I normally I wouldn't go inside so much, but he needed a bit more, because again, the figures are better quality and uh, deeper textures. I went in with the black here and there to give the shadowing, there you go, like the shell there, just to bring him forward, give him a bit more 3D effect. 
which I think worked really well. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I didn't overdo it, so I don't have to redo it like I do with the He-Man painting. Watch the He-Man one. I'll put a little card up here somewhere. Um, and then we're just going over all of it and defining him all. Um, it was a pretty simple painting to do, actually, um, which was really good. Um, and I think we've got to do all four, don't we? Who should we do next? Leo, Donnie, or Mikey? Let me know. Maybe Mike. I quite fancy doing a bit of orange. Um, the only thing that was a weeny bit hard on this was the, the chest plate and those those yellows, because I hate painting yellows because it's such a weak pigment. Horrible paint pigment. Um, but there he is, Mr. Raphael, the toy, the original toy, the one that I had, the one that I loved, <laughs> the one that I don't have anymore, which absolutely breaks my heart. Um, oh, and here you go. I just went and did a little bit of highlighting right at the end. I thought that shell needs to pop a bit. Um, he looks wicked. I love him. I love Raph. So um, do you have a little closer look at the painting? Maybe not yet. Maybe in a minute. There we go. So you can see when you're going close. Um, it's pretty uh, flat. Not as flat as I'd like, but I can never get as flat as I like. Um, and there he all is. He looks cool, doesn't he? Um, especially his teeth. I really loved his teeth. I always have the thing about those figures. They just had these beautiful white teeth that had no black around them. So in the eyes, looking evil, looking cool. And did you notice I color graded this video? So yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you very much. Um, I love this painting. It was so much fun to do. It was so much fun to do. Um, I will do another one soon. Uh, maybe another Turtles figure. I actually do Luke first, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, that was fun. I didn't talk about the painting. I just talked about Raphael. Um, Turtle power. See you soon. Bye.